Today, I want to show you the four places to touch your dog and how to use touch tactics to supercharge your training. Ian here with Simpatico Dog Training. And before we get into the touch tactics, please make sure you are subscribed so you never miss any of our videos. And don't forget to check the description below for notes, links, and resources about the stuff we talk about. Although verbal feedback is your number one training tool, there are places to touch your dog that will give you big bang for your buck. These are places wired up with a network of nerves that are routed right to the brain's pleasure centers. These spots all play a role in reward-motivated behavior. Since most types of reward increase the level of dopamine in the brain, you can compound that with desirable physical affection. This will turn your dog into a praise junkie. The net effect of that, of course, is that they will seek praise through good behavior. Spot number one is the chin and the chest. This is the first place I ever touch a new dog. As it lights up those pleasure centers in their brain, their first impression of me will be a favorable one. Stroke here when you approach your dog and offer praise. This is a great one for sit, stay, come, fetch, and even just checking in for starters. Definitely teach children to touch a new dog here first instead of reaching over the head. The sides of the body are the next stop. Most dogs prefer to be pet this way. Stay away from the top of the head during training, especially from the front. They'll tolerate it from people they trust, but pretty much all dogs find it annoying. Down the side of the body is a good place to move to after the chin and chest. I can't even count the number of times I've started rubbing a dog on the sides and they turn and lean against me like, oh man, that feels so good. The inguinal area. This is the spot where the hind legs join the abdomen and along that soft skin inside the thighs. This is like crack cocaine to a dog. Stroke here gently when they turn sideways near you. This one's great for settle down, during stops on walks, and while you're just hanging out together. Many dogs will move their legs when you stroke here, as if to say, let me help you get in there. Right in front of the ears is our fourth prime spot. This one's great when they face you head on. After a sit, a stand, or come, tell them how good they are while cupping their head in your hands and using your thumbs to rub gently in front of the ears. When a dog is by your side, reach down and rub gently there. If you get the eyes to close halfway, you've just sent them to doggy heaven. That little flap of soft skin where the ear joins the skull in the front is prime real estate too. Gently rub this between your thumb and forefinger and watch your dog just melt. Now these techniques aren't just for praise during training. Showing your dog affection in these spots when you're just hanging out together will strengthen your bond because it's conditioning your dog to love being with you. Do it right and they can be downright addicted to you. Be careful though, you may never use the restroom alone again. These touch techniques are also useful in stressful situations like waiting at the vet's office or during storms. Just make sure you don't only do these things during stressful times or you'll condition them to be physical triggers for stress. Your dog will have their own quirks, just like we do. Some of us like certain things that other people find totally annoying. Although these four spots are pretty universal for all dogs, you'll get varying reactions based on what their favorites are and their history with people. You'll also discover other things your dog may like in addition. Capitalize on all of your dog's spots and you'll see how your praise and feedback suddenly carry a lot more weight. Since one of our ultimate goals is to phase out treats altogether, you've got to have things in place right from the get-go that start to mean more to the dog than food. If your voice is king, touch is queen. Plus, your voice and your hands are fat-free, low-cal, and you always have them with you. So try this out. It's great for your dog and also for new friendly dogs you meet. For those of you that really like this approach, check out Tallington T-Touch for some more nifty hands-on techniques. I'll link to some resources in the description, including a free download of my handout on this approach. Thumbs up this video if you learned something useful, and don't forget to connect with me in the comments. As always, keep learning, keep practicing, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.